Good morning, yogis. Congratulations. You made it through a whole week. You are now on day eight of the 30-day yoga series. We are here in Grand Cayman on Seven Mile Beach. So grab your mat or towel and let's begin our practice today. Let's go ahead and begin in a nice, easy seat. You can sit cross-legged or kneeling. Close your eyes, take a nice long breath in and breathe out through your mouth. Let the exhalation be a little longer than the inhalation today. You can bring your hands onto your heart space or bring them into Anjali Mudra. And we'll welcome in our affirmation for today's practice. I flow through life like water, adaptable and graceful. I embrace life's journey with an open heart. Like water, I flow through life, adaptable and graceful. I embrace life's journey with an open heart. Let your eyes start to open and we'll move the body now like water, fluid. Inhale, reach the arms up and overhead. Let the elbows bend, try to feel the body and notice if you're very stiff this morning. Let the movements be very organic and natural inhaling and exhaling. If this is too much on your knees, you can also do this seated. In a seated position, you could also do this in standing position. One more time, inhale, reach the arms up and overhead. Exhale, bring the hands to the heart space. Let's slide the arms out in front, come up onto the hands and knees, take some spinal movement. Inhale into cow pose and cat pose. listening to the sound of your breath to help move the body. Here you can tuck the toes and walk your feet forwards to the top of the mat. Bring the hands onto the floor, your blocks. Bend your knees as much as you need to. Take a wider stance and just let the body kind of sway from left to right. Just letting your body flow, getting out of that feeling of rigidity and finding some fluidity. You can bring the hands back to center and slowly round the back and curl up one vertebrae at a time, stacking the spine, rising all the way up. Inhale, embracing this new day with fluidity. Bring the hands to the heart space. Let's do that two more times, inhaling and exhaling. One last time, breathe in and out. So you can bring the feet together to touch, moving into a one-legged balancing pose, tree pose. Start to press the left foot down and lift the right foot up, finding your balance. Once you find your balance there, let the arms reach outwards. And then maybe just let the arms go opposite directions. So just letting the arms move organically here and feeling how you wobble and you sway from the inside edge of the foot to the outside. And notice if you start to tense up when you feel those wobbles. Can you soften and find a little bit more fluidity? Just letting yourself adapt to what's coming your way. And release the right knee, set it down onto the ground. Inhale, reach the arms overhead. Let's move right to the second side. Left foot can lift, roll out to the side, press the left foot into the ankle. And again with the arms, left arm can come up. Just letting yourself sway a little bit. You might even add a little bit more of a side body movement. It's just really seeing how you can shift the poses here on your mat and how can you move through your day to find this same adaptability and grace. Let's go ahead and bring the left knee forwards and release it down onto the ground. Inhale, reach the arms up. You can take a bit of a back bend and bring the hands back to the center of the heart. 
Step your feet apart now, nice and wide, and we'll come into warrior two. So turn your right foot out towards the front of your mat. Reach the right arm out and the left arm back and see how your knee is in the front of the side of the body. Push the knee out towards the pinky toe. Let's flow. Inhale, reach the arms up and down. Two more. Inhaling and exhaling. Inhale, press the feet down into the earth. Almost the arms are like palm fronds blowing in the wind. We'll move into a side body stretch, reverse warrior. Come forwards into side angle. You can always do reverse warrior with a straight leg. Listen to your body and just let yourself move with a natural movement instead of having to look or be a certain way fluid and adaptable. One more time. You can look up and come back to center. Straighten your front leg, turn your right foot in, bring your hands to your hips for a moment, feel your legs strong, squeeze your legs, grounding and supporting you, and we'll turn to the second side. Left foot forwards, left arm forwards, right arm back, bend your left knee now, just see where it's going to keep your knees safe, and we'll move into our fluid flow. Inhale, reach the arms up. Exhale and descend. Inhaling and exhaling. I move through life like water with grace and adaptability. Reverse warrior. I embrace life's journey with an open heart. Side angle pose. Really beginning to use the muscles in the legs, finding that strong foundation and support to allow you to soften, to allow you to move with grace. It's not easy all the time, but we can catch ourselves stiffening up, freezing up, and we can soften as we find ourselves in those moments. Come back to warrior two. You can bring your hands to your hips, straighten your front leg, bring your hands out to the sides, reach the arms out and overhead. Exhale, bring the hands to the heart space. Now bring your feet so they're turning outwards. Turn your feet outwards and then push your knees out towards your pinky toes. Bring the hands onto the thighs and sway a little bit from one leg to the other. Feel your chest, try to open it up so the shoulders are over the hips. And we're gonna bring the hands all the way down to the ground now as we come to the right and the left leg will straighten. You can come up onto the ball mound of the right foot if you need to, but try to keep the sole of the right foot down as much as you can. And just go over to the other side, so letting yourself again move freely. Inhale to the center, exhale to one side. So just know what your straight leg is doing. The knee can be pointed up or forwards. We'll come down onto the ground now, so turn to the right, coming into a low lunge. Press into the left hand. Let the right arm reach up and overhead. You can stretch the arm forwards, possibly even lift off of your left knee. Reach the arm up and overhead, back to the wall or the space behind you and across the horizon. Inhaling up and back. One more time. Inhaling forwards, up and back. Lift the back knee, turn your feet towards the left, walk your hands towards the left side of your mat. Coming down onto the right knee if you'd like. Lean into the right hand, reach the left arm forwards, up and back and across the horizon. Inhaling and exhaling. One more time, breathing in and out. Lift off your back knee and walk your feet over to the right side, the long edge of the mat. Take an inhale, lift up halfway and fold forwards. Bring the hands to the hips and slowly rise all the way up. Slowly bring your feet together can bring your hands to your heart space, close your eyes and allow your legs to be nice and strong. 
As you close your eyes, let your body sway a little bit forwards and back, left to right, side to side, and find that center point where you're balanced on two feet. Your legs are strong, your spine is lengthening, you're grounding into the earth but lengthening up towards the sky above. And once again, connect to your affirmation for the day. I move through life like water, adaptable and graceful, embracing life's journey with an open heart. Now I encourage you to take a long Shavasana, which I'll link here above for you today. And I hope that you have a beautiful day and I see you again tomorrow for day nine. May you be happy, may you be healthy, and may you move through life in peace. Namaste.